Isotope enrichment. What is it? Well, let's start with the basics. Let's start with an isotope. So, what is an isotope? An isotope is basically different versions of the same element. So let's say we have carbon. The isotopes of carbon are carbon 12, carbon 13, and carbon 14. These all have the same number of protons, but different atomic masses. What changes the atomic masses is the number of neutrons. So let's say when enrichment comes into play, let's say we have uh, a block of carbon. This is carbon. We have this small sliver over here, which is carbon-12, and this larger chunk is split by carbon-13 and carbon-14. So we have a lot less carbon-12 than carbon-13 and carbon-14. But let's say carbon-12 is more valuable. It could just be more valuable, or it could be more reactant, which makes it better for what you're trying to do. So we want to enrich the carbon so that there's less carbon-13 and carbon-14 and more carbon-12. So after using whatever method it may be, you end up with less carbon-13 and carbon-12, or not 12, 14, and end up with more proportionally more carbon-12. This makes it more valuable considering that we have more carbon-12. So, large scale, Um, isotope enrichment has only ever happened three times. It's happened with uranium, lithium, and hydrogen. But we're going to focus on uranium. The isotopes of uranium are uranium-235 and uranium-238. Uranium-235 is less than 1% as common as uranium-238. So if we have a mass of uranium-238, or uranium, a very, very small amount of it is going to be uranium-235, while the rest of it will be uranium-238. But uranium-235 produces far more nuclear energy than uranium-238. So if we want to create better reactor fuel or better nuclear weapons, we need more uranium-235 proportionally than uranium-238. So we use enrichment, one of the methods of enrichment, which is uh, atomic vapor laser isotope separation, which uses laser light to ionize the uranium-238, which changes either its physical or chemical, in this case its physical properties, so that you can separate the two isotopes a lot easier. So, this is uranium, this is 238, this is 235. This is a lot more powerful, so we use this method to increase the amount of 235 to 238. Now this will be more powerful than another block the same size, but is not enriched because the uranium-235 is now proportionally larger than the 238. And uranium-235 produces a lot more energy, so there will be more energy in this than another block. That's all. Uh, thank you for watching the video, and I hope it was helpful.